Hello there, welcome to this video. In this one, I'm going to talk to you about what exactly pre multiplication of images is, what it does to an image, and when you have to use the unpre multiply node to get a good looking composite. So, let me get started by showing you exactly what pre multiplication is and how the computer goes about doing it. For this, let me first get a uh, simple color channels. I'll set up simple color channels like R, G, and B, and then I'll create an alpha channel and show you exactly what the computer does. So I'll take a constant. Uh, this constant is going to have a single color, and that I'm going to go ahead and create an alpha channel for it. So I'm just going to go select R, G, B, and I'll select a simple color. So it has almost all the three channels, red, green, and blue present within it so you can see the difference next I'm going to go ahead and create a different alpha channel so for the alpha channel again I'm going to use a simple constant node but this time I'm going to tell that the only channels I want outputted is the alpha and I'm setting the alpha channel to black next I'm to going to go ahead and add a radial node so that I can go ahead and create a separate alpha so right now what I have is a simple black constant and now I've added a radial so it gives me this result I'm just going to go ahead and increase the size of this radial so it fills in my entire screen. Okay, so now I have my RGB channels and I have my radial channel. So two of them are there. Now I want to go ahead and show you what pre multiplication does. So for pre mult, you can easily recognize in the name itself we have mult or multiplication. So I'm going to take a simple merge node and setting my RGB color as a background and my radial as a foreground I'll just go into my merge node and set the merge operation to multiply so when I do this you can see exactly what happened these um, R, G and B colors which were there have just been multiplied by the radials R, G and B colors which exist so therefore wherever the uh, radial had a perfect white color it gave me the perfect color from the constant which is here and wherever it's going to get darker or it's having a darker gray color and it's black it's giving me the same value of this color so in the center I have the same color which I had given for the constant and as it goes towards the edge it's getting darker as you can see here at the bottom red green and blue colors are really changing it's not just the image is transparent this time the colors are actually changing and in the end it goes to black so now if I go to the alpha channel as you can see there is no alpha right now uh, so if I want I can go ahead add a shuffle copy node and bring in the alpha also but right now I don't really care about using the alpha this is now this was a brief demo we just showed you how exactly pre multiplication works now instead of using my multiply node let me go ahead and use the actual pre multiply node to show you what happens so I'll just copy these and put them on the side so you can just compare what happens now because I have this radial and the constant let me take a shuffle copy so that I have a single node with all of these channels in them so I'll select the constant as my RGB values and my radial as the alpha value so in my shuffle copy you can see that the input 1 is uh, has an alpha value selected and input 2 which is a constant 3 which is coming in has the RGB value selected so if I come to my shuffle copy this time you can see RGB has a perfect flat color and when I go to the alpha channel it has a gradient which I had just applied but when I'm in the actual RGB val colors I can't really see what's happening here so this is one of the main reasons that we want to use pre multiply so whenever you're using a 3d package most of the renders you get are pre multiplied I'll tell you a little bit about pre multiplication and its uses by the end of the video but right now let's just use the node so on the shuffle copy I'm going to add a pre mult and when I do that you can see the result is exactly the same as when I'd use my merge node so both of them I'm just shifting between them and you can see the results are exactly the same it's only that the alpha channel is taken in and multiplied on all of the color channels so this was pre multiplication so now that you have understood it let's actually go ahead and see how to use this when you're trying to composite something I'll go ahead and keep all of this on the side and I'll bring in a new read node I'll bring in an image so you can go ahead and use uh, let's say approximately a real world scenario so right now uh, here in the viewer I have an image 
of a flower or 1k image of a flower and let's say I had to actually composite something on top of this image so I'm going to go ahead and use a similar thing which I had done in the previous section where I have uh, created this pre-multiplied image but instead of having a flat color in the center I'm going to go ahead and have a checkerboard so now what I have is a checkerboard which is pre-multiplied with alpha and so I have an alpha channel with this and I have a checkerboard pattern in the RGBA channel so because the checkerboard is black and white in color let me go ahead and pick in a couple of colors okay so as you can see each one of these checkerboard values has a certain amount of different color now I am going to go ahead and try to composite them together let's see what happens I'll just take in a simple merge node and my flower is going to be my background image and my pre-multiplied um, 3D render uh, let's just consider this to be my final 3D output and these operations just forget about them just consider that this pre multi node is a one inch of actually just read in from your 3D package now this pre multiply node is going over your image now as soon as I do this over and uh, this merging you can see something specific um, by default new comes with this merge node which has an over operation pre-specified the reason for this being uh, most of the 3d renders that you get have pre-multiplication turned on because of which you get a perfect composite immediately so let's say this is the result you're looking for you actually have it immediately but instead let's say you actually wanted this image multiplied on top of the colors so in such a case if I go ahead and to the, to the operations and change the blend mode to multiply you can immediately see the entire thing is gone uh, it basically looks seriously bad and you can also see that the edges here the background edges are gone so to get the background back again so because here we already know the alpha channel ends here and this place is where you want the background to be seen I really want the background so to get it back I can take in the mask and connect it to radial or the pre mult any one of them and once I do that I should be able to see exactly this result so as you can see the flower is here in the center and the checkerboard is faded off towards the edges so this is one thing which you're uh, able to get right now now if I go to this multiply and change it to screen again you'll have uh, approximately the same result so let me just put it to screen you have the same result you have the alpha channel which is coming in and masking out the whole thing and it's going towards the edges but this is not the right way to do it because here at the edges your colors are actually fake so let me actually tell you what it means if I come to the pre mult you can see that the colors at the edges are not actually bright enough they are too dark because of which your screen operation which you are doing is going to be very bad because of which the colors here at the edges are not going to come in so therefore you want to make sure that all the colors which you have till the edges come in so that's the reason we have the unpre mult node so let's see what the unpre mult node does I'll just go ahead and add that in so as soon as I add in the unpre mult node you can see something specific what it did is it make sure the entire CMYK or sorry the RGB channels which were there have all the alpha pre multiplication which was there on it removed from them so because of which something which looked like this now looks like this so all of the color values which were changing here at the bottom as you can see the green value is changing and all the values are changing are now no longer changing it gives me the constant colors this time so I've basically gotten rid of the alpha value which was destroying the color values in my image so once I've done this if I come back to my screen operation you can see that the color values are still there till the edges so let me just go ahead and um, disable and enable the unpre mult so you can see the difference so with the pre mult this is the result and with the unpre mult this is the result as you can see it's much more brighter it's giving you a lot more details and a lot more values towards the edges it's um, so right now what happened is the pre mult added in a couple of values from the alpha channel into the color channels and the unpre mult just got rid of them so both of them look like this but this is not only visible when you're using screen operation let's say I go ahead and use a multiply operation now with the multiply operation if I just go ahead and enable and disable unpre mult you can see a lot of difference at the edges over here so when I have unpre multiply uh, disabled you can you can see that the edges are a lot darker because the alpha channel has darkened the entire image and when I turn on 
and pre-melt it just brightens up the edges it just brings in a lot more detail towards the edges which are not visible so and pre melt is going to help you maintain a lot more alpha values sorry a lot more rgb values and get rid of pre multiplication which 3d packages do now you might be wondering you might not have an object which is halfway transparent most of the times you might have an object which is completely opaque or completely transparent so in such a case you would be wondering like where would you have this unpremelt or premelt most of the times when you look at these footages or someone working with these nodes it only affects the edges the reason that it only affects the edges is because of aliasing so let me go ahead and show you a little bit about that I'll go ahead and copy this entire section here and add that here. I'll get rid of the radial node and add in a rotor paint node. So let me go to the rotor paint node and uh, put in some values. So let me just take the simple Bezier and create a shape. So now I've created a shape and I have it ready. If I come to my unpre melt node, you can see my color is exactly being cut out. Remember, this is how your 3D package is going to render it. Now, once I have the render, if I just go to the edges, you can see that the colors are not flat. At the edges, you have a little bit of the background, which you can see, and a little bit about the foreground. So the colors are actually blending in, and because of which the alpha channel changes at the edges. So if I go to the alpha channel, you can see the alpha channel changes. So this is already pre-multiplied. So therefore, when you're going to unpre mult this, what you get is a flat color so this is what you usually observe so how exactly are you going to use this this is going to be your render output so pre mouth is going to be your render output from the 3d comp so which has this contaminated edges so you're going to unpre multiply this output only when you're going to use some kind of a merge operation with some Thing which is going to happen with the RGB channels so if the RGB channels are being manipulated using a different image using either multiply screen hard light overlay any kind of blend modes then make sure you unpre multiply them and use a proper alpha channel to get the exact looking output uh, let me go ahead and summarize it once more uh, to just make it easier now uh, when you're working with any kind of 3d packages or any kind of computer packages usually you have rgb channels which are what you look at and apart from rgb packages you also have an alpha channel this alpha channel basically means where the image is transparent or where the color information is supposed to exist and where it's not supposed to so when you're trying to work with the package what it basically does is is going to pre multiply or basically multiply the alpha channel on top of your image so here i have my alpha channel and here I have my color channel and basically the computer is going to go ahead and multiply them together so that your color values have changed this colors values which have changed are not going to give you a good result when you're trying to use other blend modes later on what you want is the real colors which existed before the alpha channel was pre multiplied so therefore what you're going to do is once you have a pre multiplied image you want to get back the edges so go ahead to the unpre multiply node apply it do your compositing and use the proper alpha channel like here I've used a mask to get the exact node which I want so uh, that is basically the entire pre multiplication and unpre multiplication channels I hope you found this video useful if you have any doubts or if I went ahead and ranted out too much just go ahead and give me a comment or tell me what you exactly want and I'll create a different video just for that right so I hope you found this video useful again I'll see you in the next one